earlier this month I had a bit of help trying to get this area clean as you can see we have completely removed the grass and the whole thing is mounded so so there would be more ventilation and a less chance of rot This is the Zorro in the Ark and it has gained a very deep burgundy color. Interestingly, the Echeveria right next to it is looking similar and for the longest time I had no idea what it was but it looks very eerily similar to my Zorro right now. It is highly likely both of these are Zorros. You know I hate doubling up so because of that I'll have to swap over this smaller one with something else. One of my options is this blue butterfly. The other option is this county fair. After giving it much thought, I've decided to go with the blue butterfly.
you have it I'm replacing Zoro with a blue butterfly mainly because I want it to be to look different from this one so otherwise you know it's weird if they look exactly the same I've noticed that my Silver Queen here is a bit tilted and it's probably because there's a pop growing at the back so it's maybe it's pushing it outwards I think I have to fix it before it further tilts and just disfigures itself You might remember a few episodes ago that I pulled out some leaves from my Agavoides. It hasn't been that long and it looks like most of them have already started rooting. I think I could say the same for my Silver Queen. Some of them have the red tips of the roots sticking out of the nodes. This is the best part about the growing season. Everything just happens so fast. At this rate, I think it would be a good idea to start plucking leaves now. the leaves that I harvested but I still have a lot more echeverias that are in bloom right now. I might have to think about reorganizing my containers first before working on the others. It seems like I have more lollipops in the garden again. There's still a lot of flower stalks coming out so I might be creating more of them in the next few days. And it's time once more for shout outs. So I'd like to take this chance to say thank you again to my Patreon supporters, especially Oscarino. Thank you for the support, man. And I'd also like to give a special mention to Gloria Ninotti. Thank you so much for your gift. I'm going to put it to good use. You know what, I think this gig with the landscaping, the videos and everything here, it looks like things are starting to take off. So I'm thinking of setting a goal for my channel, a rather ambitious goal. I'm going to challenge myself and get my channel to reach a million views and maybe 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and that's by the 31st of December 2018. I am a bit behind in my trajectory but but I'm hoping that later this year you know the things would start picking up. So if you think that's a worthy goal maybe you could help me spread the word 
if you know anyone who is interested in this sort of thing just drop them a link to my channel I guess and hopefully by the end of 2018 we reach the targets and like they say just shoot for the stars so with all of that said I'll see you in the next episode